Good morning. I'm Janelle Mayako, the CEO of Barn to Door, and we are so excited to be hosting the Direct Farm Brand Conference with you today. So much to dig into, so much to learn, and hopefully it'll help you take your brand to the next level. Why are we doing this conference? Well, in August, we had the Farm Direct Conference where we introduced four levers to success for farmers based on watching thousands of farmers that we help and seeing what has helped them be successful. Those four levers are quality, brand, price, and convenience. And we find that when farms move the lever on any of those particular points, their farm's business can be more successful. Today, and from the feedback from people after that conference, was I wanna go deeper on some of these levers so I know exactly what to do to move the needle, to improve my farm business, to take it to the next level, to capture those customers and increase my sales. So that's what today is about. It's all about diving into brand. I'm excited for you to hear from very key industry experts. In particular, this is REI's Senior VP and Chief Digital Officer, Curtis Koff. REI, as you know, is a very strong brand with a mission that consumers love and connect with all year round. You'll learn a lot about the importance of brand and engagement online and how he increased it for, for a brand like REI. We're big fans too of actual real success story from farms being successful at brand. We know that farmers in the field and out there in the wild, if you will, are doing a great job promoting their brand and connecting with buyers all year round. You're going to get to hear from Angelica Hayton. She's a fifth generation Washington State berry farmer who's, bit, who's literally their family's at over 60 farmers markets. This spring, as circumstances changed, she pivoted to selling online with home delivery with roaring success um, with her online brand and connecting with consumers that she would not have otherwise met or engaged with. So you'll hear from her today how she did that successfully. Joe Sherman's very well known in California from Dirty Girl Produce Farm in the San Francisco area. He used to sell over half of his business to chefs. And as you know, again, that did suffer too. He too quickly pivoted online and really pushed the volume of his sales up through consumers and home delivery and, and almost without skipping a beat. And so you learn from him today on the importance of his brand and how that led the way for him to be successful. And finally, you'll, you'll learn from Daphne of Agricola Farms. She actually immigrated. This is a great storytelling, which is part of brand, and she does such a great job. She immigrated from the Republic of Congo. They were refugees who are now U.S. citizens, and her family farm in Texas does a fantastic job sharing and connecting with people in her community, giving them food, and obviously just has a very, very powerful brand online. Speaking of Daphne, you will see some, some pictures of some of her. This is her website. This is a view of her Facebook, her logo, etc. All of these components really help build up her brand image, the, the way that her consumers and buyers can connect with her directly online, and of course, in in person, all of that matters. Brands, we realize, are, are, they're not seasonal and customers aren't guaranteed. If you want to retain customers and ensure sales year over year, you should be building your brand year round. Do you have an off season when you're not selling? Awesome, more time to work on building your brand loyalty and lock in those customers. You should take the time to do an event, send newsletters, personal messages, engage customers through your Facebook page, much like Daphne does. That is how you engage those customers, keep them locked in, and it really lays the foundation for consistent sales from persistent buyers and successful business in the years to come. At Barn to Door, we're passionate about helping farmers grow and promote their brand in their communities. So buyers connect with farmers directly. We want buyers to connect with you in your local community, and our team here likes to come behind you and power you through not only software, but as you see here, pictures of many of our account managers who engage farms on a regular basis to give them tips, to help them be successful in promoting their brand and their business. We see among the farmers we serve, and we know from watching their success, that a strong brand is key to consistent sales and ensuring ongoing sales from existing buyers. Today, You'll meet many members of the Barn to Door team, which I'm really delighted because we're all here working so hard behind the scenes and it's really nice to get some of our faces out there so that you get to know us even more. As the conference is being largely put on by our marketing team, you're actually get, going to get to meet members of our marketing team. They're highly talented individuals who know what they're talking about when it comes to digital marketing. Two sessions today, you will hear from members of the Barn to Door team. 
Nolan is our multimedia manager. He, he does fantastic videos and audio and podcasts and everything. He, today, he's going to dig into how you can use photos and videos, including some tips and tricks on how on promoting your brand online to your customers. Cade is our growth marketing manager. He's all about measuring outcomes. So you'll learn to find, you'll learn ways to discover is your email, Facebook, and Google efforts being productive and as productive as possible. And how do you measure that? Because obviously, if you're going to spend time doing it, you kind of want the biggest bang for your buck in terms of the, the customers that are connecting with it and how well you're promoting your brand. At Barn to Door, obviously, we build software for farmers to be successful online. And we know that branding and marketing your farm is what drives online sales. At conferences, we love to announce new features and capabilities. I know that our software engineers have been working for months at building a deeper integration with MailChimp. So farmers not only have a wonderful newsletter integration with MailChimp that we help them brand and send out to their customers, but now they can actually begin to group customers, tag them, send out and automate emails to specific customers and also learn what works. Uh, are they clicking on a promo code or a button? What is it that's working in those newsletters and emails to drive more sales? So really excited about this deeper integration. I know oftentimes the engineers are working so diligently and hard behind the scenes. It's just really where our passion is. Speaking of Barn to Door team members, we actually have two more today that you're going to meet. In addition to Sam and Nolan and Cade, there's two team members that are really going to be sort of the MCs, sort of between presentations. You'll hear from them. Chris and Abby. So Chris is an onboarding manager, which means once a farmer signs up, he spends the first two months with any given farmer and helps them train, get set up, answer questions. You know, we're big fans of making sure that we come alongside farmers and that they have a relationship beyond the software with us. You know, we have a whole group of people that they interface with on a regular basis, whether it's support or the success team, onboarding managers, the brand asset manager, and on. So we're really a team behind the farmers that we serve. Abby, who you'll also get to see today, is an account executive. She actually talks to farms all day, every day in various states across the country who want to learn more about Barn to Door and understand and ask questions about how we might benefit their farm and their sales and their growth of their customers in their local communities. So really excited again for you to meet and see Chris and Abby today throughout the morning or throughout the day, depending on which coast you're on. Whether you do work with us at Barn to Door, or you're simply here to learn great practices and ideas, welcome. We hope you learn business changing practices today to bring your farm brand to the next level. Please note the Direct Farm Conference hashtag. Feel free to track it or share it on social media today. We look forward to connecting with you there as well. These are samples from our last conference. Really a delight to begin getting to know our community and practicing at the efforts across various social media channels as we're all doing branding together. Next, we're excited to announce and introduce Emily Moose, Director of Communications and Outreach for A Greener World. She will share the incredible success they've had earning trust and impacting consumer spending for certified farms. You might recognize some of the certifications that they help manage and facilitate, non-GMO, animal welfare approved, certified regenerative, certified organic, and many, many more. Really exciting, such a powerful, important organization. We're delighted to partner with them and also hear from Emily today, where she'll talk in her next session about developing consumer brand trust. Have a great, a great time at the brand conference. Can't wait to connect with you. I hope you have lots that you take away from this and we look forward to hearing from you too, your feedback on what you wanna see on the next conference. Thank you so much and thank you for all that you do.